<clears throat> what is going on everyone this is Nick here at NJ's Bricks and I'm gonna try something new today something I've never done I'm gonna try to build a set inside of the bag we have this little cute baby velociraptor playpen from the Jurassic World series here just a 48 piece poly bag so it's trying to start out on easy mode here for my build in a bag first attempt if you like this content please like and subscribe down below I'd really appreciate it leaving that like makes a huge difference push my video out to more people in the algorithm and I really appreciate it hopefully this is gonna go well here like I said I'm trying to start on easy mode hoping to be able to accomplish this feat you can see I've got the instructions right up here in the corner of the screen you can follow along on lego.com these are the instructions for 30382 let's go ahead and give it a start our first instruction here we're going to find one of our bases and put a corner piece. It is, you know, there's so much printing on this bag that it's really hard to see. I've got this window right in the middle, so that's kind of all I have to work with here. And let's see, I need to, here's one of my corner pieces. If you're someone familiar with this, you probably know about all kinds of like tricks and techniques and things. and. I'm just winging it. So let's see. We'll call this the back left. Getting the pieces close to each other. Alright. I got a piece trying to get in between me here. Alright. If you guys have ever done this before, let me know in the comments below. Or point me to another channel where they do this a lot, because I've seen a few examples of it, and I always think it's cool. But I have never attempted it myself. Alright, it looks like we're a go on the first step here. Uh, step number two. That was only one piece, though. Well, joining two pieces. Now I have to add four more pieces. This would be so much easier if it were a clear bag, and I feel like it's definitely an extra layer to the challenge. There's our dinosaur. Oh, here we go. Here's the gray piece. I feel like it's definitely an extra layer to the challenge here. Where the bag is so heavily printed upon. I'd like to get the instructions back on the edge here. So they're not right in my way. Alright, now where did my 2x3 go? if I keep moving this completely out of camera in a totally disinteresting fashion, but really getting caught up in trying to be successful here, and it's difficult to be both successful and aesthetically satisfying. Alright, here we go. Now we're getting the piece in juxtaposition to where we need it, we gotta get it flipped. Okay. Now we gotta get it up and over this corner here. And boom. Alright, now we got a couple of little pieces to get on here. Here's one of them. This gray, light bluish gray, one by one, right where we need it to be. Oh! Okay, still close. I've just about got it over there. But it's just, I gotta get it rotated. 
I could have rotated 180 degrees from here. And we are in like Flynn. Pop it on there. Oh, come on now. There it is. Alright. So, that is the end of step four. Alright, step five looks like we're going to be adding two light bluish gray one by ones on the left side along with that two by two round with the hole in the middle and then also two plants. So it looks like five new pieces incoming. Alright, now I'm onto these two plants. Here's one. Gotta flip it over here. Luckily, there is enough depth to the bag to even whoop, to allow us to get these pieces flipped over. I believe this goes right in. Oh, so close! Right in there. And I'm just gonna turn it down a bit, but there we go. All right, and to finish up step five, there's gonna be one more of these green plant pieces oh, oh man you might have seen just for a split second there we had it and we had it where we needed it oh man oh there it is again okay so we need to just edge this thing right in there We are through step five and the last step of the first page six looks like it's going to add the one by two trans light blue piece there on the block on the left the upside down dish piece and I think that's it. Well, there it is. There's the first page completed for the bag build. All right, and I'm back. You don't know that I was gone, but I was gone. Now I'm back. We're gonna keep building up here. Looks like there are more corner pieces to build on top of our corner pieces. So here's the first one. And already almost got it into position here. This would be a hot start to page two. There we go. Boom, what a start. Building this thing up to new heights here. Come on now, don't don't get lost. I have it right in the right orientation, but I need ah. Come on now. I need to make sure it gets up and over these other parts here, and I've got to contend with. Some other other parts getting in the way here, making the uh, vertical travel difficult here as I run out of space in the bag to some extent. Oh, here we go. All right, I've got my finger on it. I've got it placed correctly. Clamp down there. There we go. <clears throat> All right, that is step seven complete. All right, looks like step eight is adding the six telescope pieces there as like railings for this cage and uh, two one by two tan plates so we'll probably do these plates first come on there it is there it is all right now this is the tricky part because I think it's going to be really challenging to get these telescope pieces in there and only secure it on one end. I think I might have to skip ahead. Well, let's see here. Yeah, so they're going to end up using these one by threes 
to keep secure the I'm probably gonna add these one by threes and then put the uh, two like window pieces on after that and get these things secured quickly or I guess I could put the two window pieces on first but even those I feel might be a little bit tricky in the maneuvering department going to be tricky. Here we are. Let's flip this thing. That works. We've almost got it where we need it to go. I have managed to continue building without really breaking anything thus far. So I'm pleased with that. I do have this piece stuck here at the moment. That's not good. All right, and that's on. Uh, oh boy, man, I just about had it there. this other piece out of the way. It is on the stud and on the stud. Alright, well, I'll see if I can secure those in place. Certainly the longest part. Alright, here we go. I've got my Got my bar, my telescope. Oh, I just made a sail. Come on now, get on there. All right, let me get my lid, and I've been paid. Nice. Let me get my lid on here, and then I have to go update my inventories. I think I got it. For a second there, I didn't. I didn't think it was clicking, and then it felt like it was clicking. And yeah, appears to be in place. Okay, so nine, ten. Where's my scroll? Here we go. Eleven is putting the brown piece on top, and those two yellow bits. most of which are stuck underneath. Here's the brown piece. All right, I think this is gonna be an upside downer situation. Oh, here we go. This came together rather quickly. I mean, of course it is a, oh. This is a bigger piece, so it's got that going for it. Definitely. Uh, Get on there. Alright. I think that's all of 11. One, two, three new pieces. Everything else is unchanged. 12, putting, that might have been easier to do, I actually don't really know, that might have been easier to do on its own. We need to put some, one by one, you see them bumping around here, these gray, one by one round tiles, they are riding the wind, to make it on top of the yellow pieces, that we just installed. So I'm trying to get one situated. 
I'm starting to get a wee bit better here and there at understanding how best to like kind of get the piece where I need it to be. Got the grill in. All right, what is left here? Uh, this chicken spit. That looks like the last part of the build. Man, this is difficult. Uh, what's the biggest set you guys have seen someone build in a bag? Or the biggest set you built in a bag? It's kind of satisfying, but it is also frustrating. Do I still need to put a 1x3 somewhere? 1, 2, where's that? Yes, I do. On this left side here at some point in time. I just kept, kept wondering. I kept skipping by that. So let's do that. Oh, there we go. Jeez. That was harder than it should have been. Alright, put this bit thing together. It's that long gray piece, the dark bluish gray with the clip, and the piece of chicken. So here's my big gray thing. Where's my DBG piece with the clip? There it is. I got it like where I like needed to be, but my problem is I can't see. Oh, here we go. Boom. There it is. The power of my skills. There it is. It's not the uh, most perfectest build, but it was complete. Remember, if you like this content, like and subscribe down below, guys. That was really fun, really annoying, pretty challenging for such a simple set, but I did enjoy it. I'm happy I was able to be successful. And there you have it the baby Velociraptor playpen.